All right, uh, blog number three. Still going with these, as you can see. Um, thank you very much to everyone who watched blog number two. And for the new subscribers, you're very, very welcome. Uh, just going to start off this one with a reminder to everybody who's watching this who hasn't subscribed to the YouTube channel. If you could subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up, that is apparently very, very helpful to me and to the people who run my offering career who demand that I make these suggestions. So before you watch the rest of this wonderful blog, why not go and subscribe to the YouTube channel, please. Thank you. <clears throat> News. Uh, we'll get to Hank later, which I know we've been promoting that, but we'll save him for the main event. Um, news, all we've really got is that Obsession will always be mine. There is one copy left on Amazon. We've got a new order being placed soon, but at the minute there is one paperback copy. Ebook still available. And all of these three bad boys are still available via Amazon. Um, the second book, The Devil in Disguise, we don't actually have news on that yet because we're saving that. We've got something up our sleeve for when we um, unveil that. But the de it's finished, ready to go. It will be coming out in October. We don't have an exact release date, but I would imagine that seeing as how we're in August now, it won't be too long before we start giving out more details. Um, but for the time being, I am tight-lipped on that one. But yeah. The Devil in Disguise coming, Obsession Will Always Be Mine still out there. Free short stories, all available via Amazon. Obsession Will Always Be Mine is available in Waterstones in Leeds and via Austin McCauley's website. And all three of them so far have very well received. So that's all I've got for news. Well, first off, um, somewhat slightly positive, is it's no longer known as the Hank story. Uh, we have a, a working title of The Paradox of a Lie. Um, that will probably change a million times before I'm finished, especially at the rate I'm going. But when I say The Paradox of a Lie going forward, that is what we are formally known affectionately as the Hank story. Now, as to why 33,000 words went in the bin last week, um, God, this is painful. Basically, just it, it, it didn't work. I had a I had no script, which I, I was waxing lyrical about on the first blog and talking about how positive it was and how good it was and how liberating it is to work with no script and to just go wherever you want to go, which is a really, really good idea until you read back what you've written and realise that there's no plot through any of it, really. It's, it's just random chapter after random chapter with lots of good ideas but nothing that ties it together and makes it a good read which was a real blow because I, I thought it was the best thing I'd ever written until I read it and then realised oh dear um, so I made the decision to sit down <clears throat> with my laptop and come up with a start to finish script of where I where, where I want to go obviously it, it will adapt and change as I go through but I I thought I, ne I needed to have an idea of where I was going. You know, I needed an outline to colour in. That's, I believe, an offering expression. Um, but then when I read back what I'd written and I read my script, it became really, really obvious that there was no way to make what I had fit into the script I have now come up with. So, yeah, so yeah, for the second time in six months, I made the incredibly painful decision to just scrap months and months worth of work and to start again. But on the positive, I now I, I now feel like, bizarrely, I'm in a slightly better place with it and I have actually started it again, which is good because th th this is the point to bail if you're going to bail and to just leave it as one of them, <laughs> leave it as one of them projects that you never actually finish. But no, I'm, I'm back on with the paradox of a lie and it's been painful. It's been a right kick in the genitals and... Yeah, but it, it's back on track and my ego has been bashed. But if anything, it just means I'm going to come back and prove myself right. Yeah, prove myself right. I'm going to, I'm going to come back and prove that it was the right decision to start again. Although it doesn't have to feel like it now. But yeah, the paradox of a lie is back on track in its own little weird way. <sighs> Painful.
uh, there, there was going to be. Um, yeah, there, there was, there was even uh, there was there was there was there was plans to write a sequel to Jim Pritchard um, without giving anything away. I think the book does short, well, short story. I think it does end in a way that hints that there could be more to come. Um, I haven't managed yet to come up with what that more would be. Um, it's it's a difficult one because this this bad boy, um, it is one of my favourite things that I've ever written. It's it's something that I'm incredibly proud of. If I was going to recommend any of my things, any of my short stories to people, it would be the one that I would recommend. Um, and it's something that I'm very conscious that if to write a sequel just for a sequel, it it doesn't work. It has to be better. It has to move the story on. It has to be better than the original. And it has to be worthy of following on from it. And the two or three times I've sat down with my laptop and tried to create a sequel for it, I've not nailed it. I've not been happy with with where the story's gone. So I've um, <laughs> this is becoming a habit of mine. I have binned them off. But as it stands at the minute, no, there isn't a sequel. But I do know that there is wiggle room for that. And who knows? One day, maybe I may go back and. Uh, tell everybody what happens next in the characters of Jim Pritchard that are still knocking around. Yeah, um, I think that's that then. Uh, yeah, blog, blog free, free, blog free done. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. As we said at the beginning, if you could subscribe to the channel and like the video or share it or go on the website or any of them things, they all help. Um, thank you for watching, and as I think I've already said that, but yeah, I'll say it one more time anyway. Thank you for everybody watching and. Let's